here. We're late, but we're here. We're in our cottage that we're standing at in Nashville. And this is like this little bench that we've not eaten at because... We haven't eaten here. We haven't eaten here. We've been eating <laughs> out. And there's actually another table in the other room. This, this is not the room we were in for our live the other night. This is the living room, which really we've only used it because there's a washer and dryer like right over there. But the lighting is better in here. So sorry we're a little late. We were at the uh, the boot camp. They kind of give off give out a bunch of awards and things for campers and and best groups and teams, and it's a lot of fun. It's like summer camp a lot. And I'm sorry, I like everybody else that went to boot, the boot camp awards night. They all like showered and or redid their makeup and got all cute. And I actually was wearing a dress all day long. And then when I got to this. I, <laughs> I put my hoodie and my jeans on to be comfy and I did not redo my makeup. I was like, oh, I didn't know it was a fancy affair, <laughs> but they well, loved me. Well, and on our way up there, we got rear-ended or side-swiped by someone and they um, ran. They like took off. Yeah, so we... it was raining. I chased them for like a couple miles and was like, no, we're going to get in another accident. Yeah. So we let it go. Yeah, so we got... Uh, like the tail light just a little bit cracked, but it's still, I think it'll be okay. The thing that's sad is that we're driving a rental car. Somebody rear ended us and didn't even bother to stop. The people, like they went around us and there were people behind them and they like pulled over so that way we could get around. But I was really worried because they were driving like 75 miles an hour and I was thinking they must have something crazy going on to be willing to do a hit and run for like the little bit of damage they cost. Like, Probably maybe a couple, maybe a hundred or two hundred dollars to replace the tail light if you even replace that. Yeah, so, so it is what it is. It'll be all right. No one got hurt. Yeah, <laughs> just scared the tarnation out of me, and hopefully that we don't get hit by um, <laughs> the rental company for a huge fee. But I guess we'll just cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah. All right. So show them what you got from. We hit up. So we hit up a Goodwill thrift store here. But we also went into like an old antique mall that just kept wrapping around the back. It was cavernous. I loved it. We also did a lot of shopping at Farm Fresh Vintage Finds, yeah. which is where boot camp was at. And Farm Fresh Vintage Finds has a YouTube channel, so be sure to look her up. Her name is Beth. And so I'm going to show you what I bought. First, we're going to show you the things that I didn't buy at Farm Fresh, and then we'll show you the outside trailer. I actually think this is probably the best thing ever. This was Goodwill. <laughs> You we, see this it's like angel? a thing now. We have to get a little angel when we go thrifting. There's now. a little bird, an angel and a bird. Like I had to buy it. It was a dollar ninety nine. Works backwards, but now it's upside down. I don't know. So, anyways, it's a dollar ninety nine, and I think when I paint it, it will be at least worth like six ninety five. I don't at know least. that it's going to be a huge at money least. maker, but when you find an angel with a Jamie Ray vintage bird, you got to buy it, right? So it's ceramic, so we'll paint it up real cute and then seal it. Um, let's see, what else was... Oh, this was Zeb's pick. You can so this. I found this on the shelf at the Goodwill, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like... You were oh. standing, you weren't sitting. <laughs> well, yeah, I was walking back and forth, and I was just kind of holding it, and I absently started rubbing my back with it. I'm like, oh man, this thing has to come home with us. It was like one of those things that you pick up that you don't plan on buying, but you just want to, you got to check it out. That's such a girl thing to do. Like pick up something and then you're like, oh, I got to take that home. It's not what you went for. No. Well, I started, see, so I started rubbing my back. I'm and like, then Jamie, check. And started rubbing and I was my getting, back. I was getting ready to put okay, it well, back. Well, show them how it works. Show them how it works. So, so just, you know, you just rub it. Oh my gosh. I was getting ready to put it back yeah, and right Jamie's there. like, no, right there. no, that's coming with us. And it's just like. Two Four dollars and five beads. <laughs> Two bucks. That thing is money. We can use it on the airplane tomorrow because we got a big long flight home. And if I have a little bit of a southern accent, I'm sorry. I've been in Tennessee all week and it just happens. Her family's from the south and she picks up accents anyway. Real fast. But it'll take me about a week and then I'll be back to normal. Alright, tell them about these bottles and why you got them. Okay, so these are amber bottles. We picked them up at the antique store it's down the street from farm fresh vintage finds in fairview on uh, highway 100 i can't remember the name um because i bought them because liz marie from liz marie blog says that you're supposed to use amber bottles to decorate for the fall and i saw her beautiful instagram account and this one's my favorite you guys can you show them the label on that one you show them the label close. Um, and i just have been looking everywhere and i couldn't find them so i went to the store and it was so cute because the lady they were marked like $3 and $2, and the lady went down. I think I got all 
Let's see. You guys see that label? I got all of these amber jars for $12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight jars for like 12 bucks. They were gonna be way more than that and the lady came down and I didn't even ask her. She's like, I'll give you this for 50 cents and a dollar. And so, I mean, maybe $12 doesn't sound amazing to you, but I have a whole amber bottle collection and these are not gonna be for sale at the shop because I'm gonna use them to decorate with for fall. Which reminds me, you guys, I have a fall challenge coming up with craft o maniac if you don't follow her on youtube or instagram you should we're going to be spending 20 bucks and come fall vignette decor vignette. 20 dollars at thrift stores no 20 dollars just oh you can just throw 20 dollars yeah well i vote so, thrift store because then you can get like a hundred dollars worth of stuff so I'll put you in charge of that. Anyways, <laughs> that is going to be Friday's video that's coming up. We're going to do that collab with her. She's going to link to us. We're going to link to her. And then you guys have to watch them both and then comment with whether you're Team Jamie or Team Jen. Because that's Craftomaniac's name is Jen. So I'm excited about that collab. I might use these. It was $12 for Ollie, so I don't know. If Ooh, it'll... that's a lot of your that's budget. That's a lot of my budget, but you never know. So I... So we found some insulators. These are always popular. These were only two fifty a piece here. Yeah, well, and she gave them to me for two dollars. Oh, really? And so I'll take them home. And I'll sell them at the shop for probably like six ninety five each. They're big, nice, clear glass. I bought three because you know me, I like to decorate things in threes. So there's a lot of people out there that that know exactly what these are. This was made in USA. It's got like a thirteen A dash ninety nine on it. I don't know what that means because I'm not a insulator connoisseur, but I do like them. They make great paperweights. They sit on desks real nice. I love them. I said they look really good in vignettes. This one says Reming. What does it say on it? Uh, this is a Heming, uh, Hemingray dash 45. If you guys know what these are or you collect insulators, it's a little bit different shape let us know if we ones. have any good ones. Yeah, That one has a piece of wood in it still too. So oh yeah. It's <laughs> It's authentic. Oh, it screws in and out. Look at that. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so about three of those, because I may decorate with them more in my town. If I sell them, they're going to be six ninety five each. So a good little profit there, hopefully. All this glass makes it home. We did um, buy an extra suitcase. Where did the suitcase go? Oh, the suitcase is over. You want to show them the suitcase you bought to take all this home in? Yep, while I'm grabbing the suitcase, read through read a couple comments. comments there. Thank you. Oh, buried treasures. This is super exciting here. And oh, even... Tom! Tom, are you from Tennessee? I think it was Buried Treasures, wasn't it? I think yeah, that was, it was. The name. Tom, you read my mind. All right, let's see. Um, I'm rolling through to see if I have any questions. Uh, Joanne E says, since today is the first day of autumn, she's begun to put fall leaves and flowers around her house, and now she will have to find some amber bottles. I can't wait to see what you do with them. It feels way too hot down here to be the first day of autumn. Like today was the first kind of decently cool day and it rained. <laughs> what will I put in the amber bottles is what Chris asked. I don't know. I'll probably actually just leave them empty or I might do flowers. I haven't Cotton. decided. Cotton is very fall. Cotton. What, what happened to the comments? Oh, I, did I don't know what you did. What did I do? Somebody's like, I can't, can't believe we're still up. I know, right? We have to get up. We have to fly out of here at 5.50, and it's half an hour from the airport. So that means we have to leave we here. We probably need to leave here 3, about 3. 20, yeah, somewhere in there. I don't know. I can't do the math right now. It's just going to be very early. But right. we love you guys, and we are here. Well, we have a fun craft to do. We, we're, yeah, the so. IOD sisters were at boot camp teaching classes, and they had a booth today, and so we were right over there talking to them a lot, and they showed us some cool stuff, so. And they gave me sneak peeks of everything, so I'm excited. But we did pick up new, um, more inventory. So the craft we're gonna be doing later, we have all of it in stock, which is very exciting because sometimes IOD is hard to get a hold of. So we're excited. Well, right. their stuff is sometimes, because it's so popular, they sell out of it. All right, Goodwill Wood Bowl. It was a dollar ninety nine. It was a yellow tag, which was half off while we were there. So a dollar. Well, and every I had a bowl like this, only bigger, and it sold like that. So it's about a nine ninety five, painted in white swan with a little bit of white light distress on there. Yeah. This I'm really excited about. It's so sweet, and it wasn't a super good deal. It was five dollars, but it's a silver um, rocking horse, and it's really heavy, and it was five dollars, and it's probably gonna be like twelve ninety five or fourteen ninety five in my shop. Because it's like a coin it's, bank. It's just the cutest thing. I just think it'd be so sweet in a nursery. 
So the, uh, and I don't find that kind of stuff a lot. And we found more silver. You want to show the rest of my yeah, silver? Yeah, I'll bring them. I'll bring them up and run them through. All right. So little tarnished silver. What would you call this, Jamie? Um, add something to do with coffee, like a creamer or something. I don't drink coffee, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm, and this this that. this matches butter the dish? design on that. Would you call that a butter dish, Seb? Yeah, something. Maybe I'd throw so. like some olives or something in there. I don't know. An olive dish, and that was a dollar ninety nine. These usually sell for about six ninety five each, seven ninety five, and these were two ninety nine. This is Sheffield here. Yeah, Sheffield, two ninety nine and three ninety nine, and this is, would be like ten ninety five in the shop. Maybe a little more, maybe twelve ninety five and fourteen ninety five. I'm gonna look up the brand Sheffield. Does anybody know what Sheffield is? This is a big one. Jamie's looking to see if you guys know what Sheffield is. So Oh, yeah. I was right. It's an olive or a pickle plate. Oh, well we like olives and pickles. Anything brined is good for us. Zep Ali Metter says that she loves us so much. That she just had her daughter be a C-section in the hospital in Nashville, and uh -oh. she's watching from her hospital bed. We are so close to you right now. Well, congratulations. Hope everything is going well. Yeah, I appreciate it. So, I want to know, how big was your baby? That's like what everybody asks. Yeah, what are the stats? We got to know the stats. How big was your baby? I'm hoping and praying that everything went well. Every time a baby is born, it's always a miracle. All right, so can't can't go thrifting without picking up a candlestick. This is a wood candlestick. It was two ninety nine. We didn't get it half off, but pretty good size. Probably about thirteen inches tall. What do you call you gonna paint this? This is probably gonna go apothecary or white swan, and then we'll distress the black. Maybe back I'll through. paint it bohemian blue what we've been at boot camp whenever you get back from boot camp i start painting all kinds of although today we painted with petticoat pink oh, skeleton key yeah. and apothecary and we used cardboard we, to paint with. it was so cool we can't wait to make an actual video on it yeah. and we've never done it before and we decided for our live demo because we're crazy like that let's do something live in front of people that we've never done before we just saw one time that somebody did it so we must be experts <laughs> and we did it and it was cool well we had dion woods sitting there and she's painting this beautiful boho piece that she's got out and doing a demo on that and we were right after her at the market so we're like you know what we're we gotta gonna, do something cool we're, we're gonna, gonna paint with cardboard out, right we're gonna paint with cardboard <laughs> it was fun it had like a really cool textured finish all right here we're to your bottles. So look what I found. So I'm really excited. Let's see which one is that. That's the one I got from. So is this is the Ammon guy. So that Georgie. was twenty dollars. I, I bought this at the market today. Twenty bucks, best deal ever. I actually got two. So I think this one, this one's also from the market. That one has a little bit of blue on there. Twenty dollars each. And so you cannot find these where we live. So two, these two are going to probably wind up being sold. I'm going to get all my seltzer bottles together when I get home. I'm going to keep the best ones that I like. I'm going to sell the other ones. This one. I really I, like this top on this one. It's kind of more arch. Well, it's from New Orleans. I got it from my friend Callie from Bayou Junkin Girls. And it was $50 because of the labeling on it and because it says New Orleans on the side. And that's where she's from. So, of course. She wasn't letting it go cheap. No, and I don't have anything else with that kind of labeling. And labeling always makes things worth more, so that one's probably a keeper. And then this one I picked up at Farm Fresh Vintage Finds from Callie, and she gave me a bunch of bubble wrap. So all of this is getting bubble from wrapped. From Callie or from Beth? Oh, sorry, that's from Beth. From Beth from Farm Fresh Vintage Finds. That's where that one came from. And that one was 30 So I, I did good. I did splurge a little bit on the one from Callie, but I felt like with the labeling... It was worth it. I probably won't sell that one. So sometimes if I'm not going to sell something, I'm not always worried about my bottom line. All right. And we're to the mirror. This is the last thing here. Oh, look at you guys can see yourselves. <laughs> so huh? this mirror was fun. It was originally marked 19. The gal sold it to us for 17. And it's just got some fun things going on. Like the mirror here. Let's see if I can not blind you guys. Tom Fisher says that their truck looks like the Clampets coming back from Tennessee. Tom Fisher, were you there today? Did you come say hi to us? I don't think Tom did. No, you know? I didn't see Tom. Tom, were you there? Did you come say hi to us? Mm -hmm. Or were you in Tennessee? And I would have recognized to Tom. I would have seen, I would have recognized him. Oh. Because okay. I see all his Facebook posts. Allie said something. I don't know. Oh, Miss Adeline Rose, and thank you all. I have a Nodelia Rose. 
I love Rose for a middle name. It's so sweet. Okay, show them, show them the best thing we bought from Goodwill. What? Well, the I already showed them the, the suitcase. Oh, you showed them the suitcase? Yeah. It was $5. Oh, you can show them my truck I painted. Did you tell oh. them how much that mirror was? Yeah. Okay. So the, did show you tell them your truck. This so. was a craft at boot camp. <laughs> I don't think I'm going into drawing trucks anytime soon. What do you guys <laughs> But she did add the flowers. That I wasn't did, part of it. The flowers were Jamie original. The, the thing was to just do the truck on the background. And, of course, I add the flowers. Oh, Jay Souter says my daughter's name is Dusty Rose. Rose is my mama's middle name, so we love Rose. Anyways, do you guys think I should go into <laughs> the truck painting business? Probably not, but I think I'm going to do more canvas art this winter just to do some cutesy stuff, but maybe I should just stick to flowers. Can you guys see those? All right. The cool thing about this is that I took a class about how to teach classes, and... So I'm excited about that because I'm thinking I'm going to this winter do some more classes. I actually have, if you're in California, we are going to be, well, I'm going to look up the date because I keep forgetting to check. I can't ever remember the date. I can't remember dates, period. What what day is today? I can't, where, how do you find the dates on this? Oh, don't mess with my phone. It's secret. Um, it's like top secret lockdown. I can't ever figure out. So I'm going to pick it up. So we, we are teaching a class, both Zeb and I. There's October for you. Um, is this Wednesday here? October 24th, we are teaching a class at Vintage Retail Therapy, and I will have all the details up on social media probably Tuesday. I'm having my LASIK surgery on Monday. That's in Fallbrook, Fallbrook, California. Yeah, we'll be in Fallbrook, California on that day, but on Tuesday, I'll get up the actual stuff. So if you're anywhere near Fallbrook, we'd love to see you. And I don't do classes a lot, so hopefully... Hopefully people come. I don't know. Will people come? All right, we're getting ready to do some stamping. We already pre-painted these white while we Are were at the market. For this? Thanks. They love the flowers. Do you guys love that all my makeup melted off today? I should design oh, trucks for Toyota. Touche. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Touche. Hey, Zeb, get that so I can read comments. Sorry. Okay. He's, it's closer to him than me. It's weird to be in this booth. Usually we're next to each other. It's not a very flattering angle, and I don't think this giant sweatshirt is super flattering. Oh, I got a oh, this one else I got. I got a shirt from American Pickers. Yeah, so. we had time to go. Oh, well, you're getting that set up. I'll show you guys. You guys want to see what I got at Beth's shop, too, besides the seltzer bottle? I got a whole bag. Hold on. She's got a whole bag of goodies. All right, so I, I pre-painted this white. White before, swan. Yeah, it's white swan, DIY white swan. It's actually still slightly damp because it rained in you know what you guys so it was threatening to rain all day and it actually made the weather pretty delightful because it was like windy and cool and it did as soon as the second we got done with boot camp and got everything tidied up and put away we were the last ones at Beth's shop trying to help her get everything put away and get everything all the furniture up the heavens opened and rain started pouring down which was a huge blessing because they need the rain here in Tennessee, but we didn't need the rain until the boot camp was over. I'm pretty sure the rain's also what caused us to get rear-ended, but you know what? I'm so glad that the day went off without a hitch. Yes, it was the good. Camp the market was great. The market was. All right, so while he's getting that set up, I'm going to go show you guys. All right, I'm ready, so you You're show ready. them your stuff quickly. All right, I, or I got this bag, and it says Lehigh Football number 65. It's backwards, I know. I had it embroidered at Best Shop. She has an embroider, embroidery machine, so I will be the cool football mom next week. I picked up my girlfriend, Kelly, one of my besties, had a birthday last week, and I missed her, so I picked up. It says, sure, my life isn't perfect, but my makeup is. And then I had the custom embroidery and got her name on the back for my friend, Kelly. So I've already got my birthday present for her. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I purchased this. This is for my coffee table. It's a burlap runner. Picked that up at Farm Fresh Vintage Finds. I'm sure if you know how to sew, you can make one easy. I don't know how to sew. Neither do I like to work with burlap because it gets up my nose. So this is a good find. This was $9.95, which I thought was pretty good. Oh, time out. Chris Durauchi says, sorry, I probably messed up your name, says that their Fallbrook's only five hours from them in Anthem. Guess what? Her nephew lives in Anthem, and that's kind of the area we're looking to put our next shop if he gets his building. Yeah. So, cross your fingers. We may be making more trips to Anthem, Arizona. Well, cross your fingers only if you like us. <laughs> 
If you don't care, then that might not really matter to you. <laughs> I got purple pajama pants, custom embroidered to say JRB on them. So I'm pretty sure next Saturday night, I'm going to have my live wearing these purple striped pajama pants. And you know everything has to be purple because that's our team colors. And you know what? We got these amazing people today. They came all the way from the Chicago area of Illinois. Their boy plays football. His number is 56. Our boy's number is 65. Their boy plays on the D-line. Our boy plays on the D-line. And yeah, he, plays, he plays linebacker. But ball. He plays in the defense. It's close. And their colors are purple and white. And she had purple hair dyed underneath. And it was so cute. And so if I start having purple hair dyed, then you just know that I'm trying to be a cool football mom. All right. We're going to get started. This is just barn wood that we painted white. And it's kind of distressed. You guys see that? It's really bright. There you go. You can see that. Okay, it's gonna get crackly. I'm opening this pack up. Okay, so to get these stamps, so this is one stamp we're gonna use is called Crack. It's called Crack Liqueur. You can pick this up at jamierayvintage.com and you can actually get a crackled effect from the stamp. You can use it on signs, you can use it on furniture, you can use it on home decor. When you get your brand new stamp, the first thing that you're going to do, where's the sanding block? Is you're going to when you open your stamp up when you open it's your called stamp up seasoning your stamp yeah you're gonna sand it and season it and just I don't know what this does did she do you remember what she said she had a technical term for it sorry Josie if you ever see this I don't remember what it was also Josie told us to practice before we went live I didn't practice but I did watch her video no uh, we didn't practice so hopefully we get it right so anyways you're gonna sand your stamp and the stamp comes off of this pad here but oh, we're not going to take it off because we're going to use it on the piece that it comes on okay done. so these are some farm animals here and these are going to be amazing with this crackle you guys are looking at that rabbit you're like what he's going to put a rabbit on a piece of wood it's going to be awesome Ooh, d brownlee says she just got a booth today Woo -woo. Nice. that's exciting i'm always excited when somebody new tries it out we had so many people that came to Nashville to see us, and I have to say, thank you. It was really touching to have people come up to us and say, we came this many hours away to come see you, and we a lot of them said that they started like with booths or opening a shop, and they're hustling, they're making money, and, and it's super exciting to know that we're helping you guys. So You get the bunny. Um, but I got the bunny, but are we going to sand it? Yeah, just do a little light sanding first. Wait, is that the right side? That's not... Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the, right the sticky okay. stuff. <laughs> Is that the right size? So I'm just sanding my bunny. Why do I get the bunny? I want the shoe. Okay, so here, use that. So put that on there. Where's your little, no, this thing? Is that uh, what you're going to use? I'm going to use that one, yeah. Okay, so you can use what the stamps actually come on, or we have, you can actually use a, these longer ones. I don't know what These are called. for laying your stuff out. I can't remember yeah. what these are called anyway. We're yeah. terrible teachers. It doesn't matter. But you we get to this. You can use this piece here that your stamp comes with. You don't need to buy anything special. Right. Or you can use an acrylic block. So yeah. we're going to be using the DIY. This is already done in White Swan. And this is the little black dress. We confiscated this from boot camp. Debbie Beard, if you're watching, which I'm sure you're not because you're out partying with all the boot camp girls. It's the leftover ends. It's, it's all right. I, I okayed it with her. She yeah. said, just take it. Okay. Yeah. We we were at a party and I told Deb for our boot camp because it's like the last night and I told them like we have to go. Our people are waiting. Are you going to do yours in ink? I'm going to do mine in DIY. This is Little Black Dress. Yeah, and I'm using ink. So this is actually the IOD ink. Okay, and it's got, it's the blue ink and right now these pads and the ink are sold out. However, the ink is coming. If you don't have an ink pad, you can get the ink and the blank pads at your local craft store, or you can use, what are you doing? I'm just using this as like a, Oh. <laughs> I didn't want to put my paint on there full strength. Okay. <laughs> Zeb, that is not what we were planning like, on. Like, yes, this is, check it out. <laughs> what check, do you see in this ink block? Check That's my stamp out. No, just kidding. That's a joke. But you can't say, what do you think this is? What does this look like to you? When you look at this, what do you see? Oh, come on. Give me that. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, can I get, I can't even get the lid off of this. Oh, there we go. It goes straight off. So if you're using an ink pad, like I said, you can pick up, this is the farm animal set, right? Yeah. And then we're also going to use crack liqueur. Crack, is that how you spell? I don't know. You can get it at jamierayvintage.com, even if I can't say it. But the ink pad, you'll have to go to your 
local craft store. And I'm just gonna stamp, 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 stamp. I want one of those little blocks. Can you give me a little block? Or am I doing a little animal scene here? Then what are you doing? I'm trying to read this. It's like Frenchy. It's like crack lure. Crack liqueur. No, there's no liqueur in there. It's like it's going to be backwards. Oh, it's backwards, but this is what it is. So there you go. Now you know. <laughs> so I have my foam brush, and I'm just taking some of this paint here and kind of almost dry brushing the stamp because I don't want gobs of paint of paint on here. I just want it to be. So as, as Josie told me, because she was the one giving me most of the instructions, she said you don't want it to be too juicy. Just a little bit. Somebody says a rhino. This is a rabbit. Yo, rabbit. There you go. Oh, a rhino. A rhino on that picture. That's what you're seeing. Sorry, you guys. I'm late. I'm running. I'm not a lot of sleep. A rhino. Well, it doesn't look like a rhino anymore because I've messed up the rhino. Oh. <laughs> yes, sorry. Somebody okay. says, how long does it take to thrift tall to... <laughs> This week it took us like 20 minutes. All right, guys, I've got my board. Now it's important when you're putting your stamp on, you don't want to smear it around. You want to press it on there. And then as I was shown today, you set it on, okay? You don't smear it and then you tickle it. You don't press super hard, you just tickle it. I didn't tickle it. Well, I was told to tickle. The tickle's on the crack liqueur. I'm doing it on all of them. All right, well, you tickle that chicken. I'll tickle the chicken. That sounds bad. I'm just going to stamp my rabbit, and I'm not going to worry okay, about it. Okay, I'm, I'm pushing down a little now. We'll see how it comes out. I think I may have put my paint on a little too heavy. Too much juice. Too much juice. juice. No, that's good. No way. Check that out. Chicken. Look at my chicken. haven't even distressed or done anything. So these stamps are designed to be kind of distressed in nature um, and they're made specifically for home decor. So you can use them to make signs, you can put them on furniture, you can stamp them on tea towels. If you're going to use paint to stamp them on a tea towel, you stamp them, wait 24 hours and then take an iron and heat seal them and you're good to go. And which makes them really good for like smalls for your business or you could use them for like presents or Christmas gifts, wedding gifts. Ooh, I'm doing good. I think I'm going at an angle. I don't know. I'm going for the uh, the pig is next. How many of these am I going to fit? This is going to be weird. I don't, I don't know. know. Why are you doing like three bunnies on there? I don't know. We're going to have to cut this board later. Okay. I, like, oh, I don't know, why did you give me bunnies? All right, so do that. Stage them out, and then I'll just make cuts on the boards, and you can have three bunnies. Okay, that works. Yeah, the cool thing about the farmhouse set, too, is you could do, like, four boards and have one of each animal, or five boards and one of each animal. There's a pig, some cow, a sheep, yeah. some cow, you a could, chicken. You could Show them the out. whole thing so they can see all the I animals. already did. I showed them. I showed them all the stuff. Caitlin says... Or more like lure at the end of crackle, crackle lure. Yeah, I actually think Caitlin is correct. That's why we pay her the big dollars. Crackle lure, yeah. Crackle lure. All right, I'm taking my chicken off. My pig is going on my sheep. So I'm not moving my, it's really important not to move your stamp. You can push it down, but you don't want to move it because if you move the stamp back and forth, then it gets kind of blurry. Oops, I didn't push Did hard you enough. already season the pig? No, I didn't season the pig. Okay, I'm going to do it. But I didn't stamp this very good, so I don't know if I'm going to re-stamp it. All right, after you're done stamping that, look at some comments and see what people are saying. About our stamping? <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm seasoning the pig. He just came fresh off the, out of the package, so. So these stamps, Caitlin, can you look and see how much just better these stamps are? I don't really know. And They're give not... us all the links, Katie. Yeah to the IOD, if you will. Um, so they're not stencils, they're stamps. And the cool thing is, is that like when you use a stencil, you get like those little lines in them. And you don't get that with these because they don't have the lines and they work really good on curved surfaces. It gives you a lot more uh, creative license to kind of do what you want because you can, you're not stuck to like a whole stencil. You can just do this part and then add some words or I'm just gonna show you this. It's funny because that bunny, but it, there you go. Look how cute that is. Look how cute. Seasoning the pig, you're making bacon. All right, so I, this is my first one. I'm going to do another one. The 
my BFS has a sign that says, don't worry, I'm silently correcting their, your grammar. That's funny because my grammar sucks. So you'd be silently correcting a lot. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get another little piece of wood. We actually have this huge pile of wood in our backyard, and I had so much fun playing with the IOD sisters. I told them, I said, we are going to be making signs until we can't make signs anymore. Okay, I've got the pig. Not, do it, do it's it. It's not super it. juicy, just, you know, just kind of dry brushed on there. And I'm going to make a friend for my chicken. A chicken friend? Can I please have another stamp? Tickling. Tickle, 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 tickle. Donna says it's bedtime. <laughs> yes, it's past that. All right. All right, Caitlin, can you please put the link in there if you're still watching for the stamps? So I just updated my IOD products, and so we have a bunch. And I actually think if you wait, like if you guys will give me like fifth the live, I will go and update all of the stamps because some of them have been kind of hard to get from IOD. And so I bought everything that I was out of of the stamps and I actually bought some more transfers too. Since I had them there, I thought I should buy them and now I'm going to haul them home. Alright guys, I waited too long and my paint got too dry on the stamp. I'm going to have to do this one again. Well, hold on. It looks good. You just don't really need to distress it. Okay. It's pretty vague though. Compared to my chicken. Can I have another animal, I think please? I th You're hoarding the animals over there. Oh, sorry. I'm going to go just rinse this off real fast. All right. I'm going it's not to set up. It's I'm DIY paint. It's water you know what? Soluble. I think I'm going to do the sheep one, and then I'm going to have to bring that. I'm going to send it to Liz Marie because she loves sheep. Do you guys follow Liz Marie blog on Instagram? I love her house. Like, when I grow up, I want to be her. She also has a YouTube channel. Her YouTube channel is not as big as her blog and her Instagram, but all right, I I gotta wash this one. And to clean these stamps, if you clean them right away, just like a damp rag and like dish soap or wet wipe will work. If you're using the DIY paint, it just comes off with water. It's really good. Oh, thank you. Caitlin put the link to the pigs. Caitlin, can you also put the crack liqueur on? Because we're gonna use that soon. And that one I'm super excited about because you can use it on furniture so you can make it look crackled without having to do a whole lot to it so if i stamp on a towel is it washable um i have been told that if you use the ink that you get like the fabric ink you're good and it also if you use the paint and then you wait a day and then heat set it with an iron you're good to go so i haven't tried it yet but i've told i've been told that you can I would say it's probably fine to wash. Maybe don't put it like on hot water. Just like wash it on cold, gentle cycle and let it hang to dry. You should be good to go. All right. Jamie, I'm still here, LOL. It just takes a second to find it and get it copied over here. And yes, I'm getting that link too. Caitlin, you're so good. I don't know why. Thank I'm, you, Caitlin. We love you. She's the best. In fact, she's going to get some new job duties she doesn't even know about yet. We've, we've been doing lots of business planning lots while we've been planning. in classes and sitting around and talking to other people and some stuff's changing. Caitlin's going to get more responsibility should she choose to accept. Uh, so I'm telling you live on YouTube, Caitlin. All right, All right. I'm going right in. I'm not showing you because I think that's what dried my pig out last time. <laughs> He's not going to show you. Will you show him to him when you're done? I'll show you when I'm done. No one wants dry pig. No. I think I let it slip. I did what I said not to do. I'm struggling in this little booth. Yeah, this is kind of weird. I feel like I'm at a diner. Oops. I moved. Okay. okay. So after I get this pig done, we're going to show you the crack lure. Crack lure. There's crack no, lure. There's no second scene. Why can I not call it crack liqueur? Because that's like sounds like something you drink. I'm going to call it crack liqueur because I want to. Because you're not in the box with me. You're That's true. Everywhere. The IOD sisters, the gals that actually make this product, like we just with spent this. the last week with them. Oh no, I, I went really dark, but I like it a lot. Well, we can sand it. Look, Look at that. That's so cool. Good job. You're a keeper, Zeb. All right, so my chicken, I went a little light. And I, I like that. Look, I'm going to have to sand the pig once it dries. I went a little juicy on it, but it came out really good. That's how good these stamps are. <laughs> so 
So I think when we get them, I'm going to make sets of these once we get home and we're going to put them in our shop and we'll just have like, you can like little signs. I might frame them out and they'll be really cool. Or like you could stamp kitchen underneath one or something. Somebody asked if there's a cow stamp. It's right here. It comes yep. in the set. So this set, the farm animal set comes with five. I don't know if they can see and that. I think very well. that right now it only shows one in stock, but I bought some more. So. so here's here's what the set looks like. You get the chicken, the rabbit, the cow, the pig, and the sheep. You want to see the sheep? I did it. I'm figuring out the stamping thing. It's really not that hard. Do you guys like my sheep? I love the sheep. All right. Kaylin says, I'm sure I'll accept. Yes. <laughs> we love you, Kaylin. All right, where's the crack, crack so lure one? I love my little sheep. I'm ready for it. Oh, good. You finally made it. Yes. Yeah, these... Stamps are amazing because I suck at stamping and I'm actually not doing too shabby. We're actually going to IOD boot camp before we do our class in Fallbrook. So we're going to learn how to do new stuff, including learning how to make knobs and stamp them and decorate them with a special knob stamper we're they have. We're super excited about that. And we have already ordered the knob stamper, so we're going to learn how to use them at boot camp for IOD. Yeah, they're not out gonna, yet. They're not out yet, but as soon as they get delivered, we're going to put them on a website and you're going to want them because they're amazing. I feel like a kid on Christmas. You're looking for the crack looper? Yeah, you got it over there. All right, I wanted to do blue over the top okay, of my chicken. Okay, I'll allow it. Okay. That might look weird. It's, a, it's gonna be great. All right. <laughs> it's gonna be great. So I'm just gonna take it's my stamp easy. pad, and the way Josie told me to do it, not super juicy, she didn't go out to the edges because she doesn't want it to be a complete square. So I'm in the same boat. And don't do the whole thing. I'm just gonna put it on here like so. And I'm going to be really careful not to drag it. Caitlin says, when I say crack liqueur, the way I do it sounds like crack mixed with hard liquor. Yeah, exactly. Crack lure then. Crack right. lure. I said it. Okay, I'm going with the blue crack lure over the top of my chicken. And tickle it. And I'm going to tickle this one for sure. I don't want it to get everywhere. Like, I don't want the complete crackle all over, at least not for this effect I'm going for. And I went with the blue so you guys can hopefully see the contrast. I need the farm animal, sorry. Oh, you need Somebody, more farm animals? Um, yes. Did they someone are, request an animal? Yeah, they asked for the, uh... The cow? The cow, yeah. That's the last one on there. Yeah. You guys, follow Iron Orchid Designs on YouTube. If you haven't already, their videos are super inspiring. You can't purchase directly from Iron Ooh. Orchid Designs, but you can order them on January 25th. <gasps> That's so cool. All right, I'm going to try to get this to show this. All right, so you see my chicken. Now look at what that stamp did all around it, like all up in the negative space here. Look at that. Can you do my sheep? Yeah, I'll do your sheep in just a second. I'm still showing them the chicken. One of my babies said hi a few minutes ago. Which one of my babies said hi? Is Odelia on here? I don't see any. Do you want babies. me to do the sheep with the black, or you want blue crackle on your sheep? Odelia, oh, Odelia did say hi. Hi, Odelia. We miss you. Hopefully, you're having a good time with Megan and Alex. We have the best nannies ever in the whole entire world. In fact, our kids, at least our younger ones, when we when we come back, they ask us when Megan and Alex are coming back. Yeah. So Megan and Alex are at our house at least three to four times a year taking good care of our babies. All right, stop, stop hand hogging the stamp bag. I'm not part of it. I'm going to crackle your blue sheep. We'll crackle it. Okay. All right. The cow is going on. Oops, I think I touched it. Hopefully I did good. Don't, don't take your stamp and make it blurry. So just push on it. Without making it blurry, that's what I've been told. And and actually, the more you do it, the better you get. I never thought I could stamp, but the, Sally and Josie took good care of me. Yeah, they showed us the ways. And they're they're hilarious. They're they're fast. We had too. So yeah, they are fast. We had so much fun. Okay. Okay, so I'm going kind of at like a crazy angle here. Oh, you can't see it because there's not enough white paint on here. All right. Tickle. Fail. All right, I'll try it on something else. Tickle. Oh, you Tickle. gotta go. You gotta go pretty black with the. Wait. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's light. there wasn't enough white paint on it, so I'm going to do it on this one. It's all right. I'll fix it. Okay, blue on blue crackle looks like. The blue on blue. Yeah! <laughs> I love that you're getting so excited about it. 
about this crafting. We're I was watching them do this earlier today, and I was loving it. It was, it was amazing. I have to say, you guys, this craft comes to you from Zeb, because I just wanted to do a haul, and Zeb was so inspired and excited after meeting these sisters. She's like, we have to use these products. So I think that Zeb is going to be the stamping queen. You know you have the, like, dancing queen? Gonna <laughs> the, he's going to be the stamping king. Only you're not 17. Okay, I can't sing. All right. Let me do this cow. Hold on. Move out of the way. I'm going to try to turn oh, your side. Oh, stamp your cow quick. You don't want it to dry out. All right. Hopefully it shows up better because it didn't have enough white paint on that one board, and the blue is kind of subtle. It's not as good as the dark. I think I love these stamps because I really love signage and I mean you could just make sign stamp oh, all your good. things for days with this. You guys want to see my cow? Oh, no, no. The thing too is that the IOD sisters get inspiration from vintage signage so you really can create custom. There you guys go. You like my cow? The, the wood kind of was messed up here so it kind of came off. I'm not sold out of the queen bee. I will add those. I promise you. I got some. I'll show you. you ready? Hold on. I got those today. I got all the last ones that they have. Did those you not put it in the inventory? No, I haven't yet because we've been busy. Okay. I did. I I'm did going, add the crackle. I'm going blue crack lure over the pig. Caitlin, if you're watching. Will you please add three queen bee to the stock? Because they're right here. All right, I think we're done almost. People are dropping up like flies. Okay, where's where's all my stuff? Did you crack the lure of my cow? Not yet. Not yet. You Hold can on. do it. I can do it. All okay, right. so I'm going to show you. I got the pig. Check out that crackle. This is just a scrap piece of wood that I cut. When I get home, I'm gonna frame it. How much would we sell these little signs for? Oh, if the they're shop? framed, like nine ninety five each. So ten bucks. But yeah, but what do we make? Like thirty bucks there. I mean, pretty good for. Sure. And and so if you're not a furniture flipper, Dave, if you're making your own signs or you're doing like stuff for your friends for Christmas or or fall. Okay, here's my crackled cow. That turned out so cute. Wait. So this we can cut. Wait, my ch chicken. Oh, show me your chicken. All right, show guys. Chicken. We have got to get up in like three hours and get all this stuff in suitcases. So we're going to go. If you want all this stuff, the paint, the, the, the DIY paint, the stamps, we're out of, we don't have ink right now, but we will soon. So check back later. But you can pick this up at the craft store. So buy the stamps because we got them in stock. Give me like 10 minutes, I'm updating. So, so at jamierayvintage.com. And if you're watching the replay, I'll put all the links below so you can find them quick and easy. And if for whatever reason you're looking and we're sold out, message us. We're going to be getting a bunch of this stuff. So sure, yeah. keep looking. And also, Caitlin said she just updated Queen B. So if you were looking for that, there are three in stock. They never last. So we love you guys. We are so excited. Excited to do some videos next week. We have some fun ideas. We're going to be painting with cars. Yeah. We are going to be using the resin and putty that yeah. we have up on our website. If you haven't had a chance to order that, be sure you get that because we're going to show you how to make your own appliques. Also, how to make like repairs. If you More than anything for repairs. And when I, once I show you that, you're going to be like, oh, this is yeah. amazing. Zep's probably going to do that video on Monday while I'm sleeping because I'm having my LASIK done. Yeah. That's the plan. And then we also have our collaboration coming up with uh, Craftomania for doing our fall vignette. So it's going to yeah. be fun. Lots of fun stuff, guys. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the notification bell so you can get those notifications when we're live. And thanks for joining in. Sorry for the sporadic videos this week. We'll be back to normal scheduling next week. Don't forget to go to jamierayvintage.com. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys.